Good day to all of you lads and lassies out there, it's your Australia mate Druin here, signing in and welcome to the second finale half of my playthrough of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PlayStation 4. Alright, so just want to apologize for the long wait for this video to be live up on my channel since I was quite occupied with other games for me to make content out of, but... This is actually going to be the, or possibly going to be the final video of my Cold War playthrough apparently. So anyways, in the last video, if you've been watching my Cold War playthrough and if you watched my last Cold War video that I've posted, like I think it was like September, around on September, but we have completed the final mission A of Cold War, which was the final countdown. After telling the truth about the whereabouts of Perseus, Bell leads the team to the Solovetsky Islands off the coast of northern Russia. Turn against Perseus and stop the green light nukes from detonating across Europe. So that's what exactly what we did there, and we actually got the good ending. So there's a lot for me to talk about before we actually get into this mission. So in this mission, I don't think this is actually a mission, Identity Crisis, which you come across this mission. Okay, I don't know why I call this a mission. Let's just... Yeah. So, after break on through, you'll be sent to Identity Crisis. After subjected Bell to a dangerous interrogation, Russell Adler reveals the truth about Bell's past. So, in Identity Crisis, I pretty much explained almost everything in the final countdown so that there is actually two final missions and there are two two endings so we already cleared out the final countdown so we got that mission out of the way so uh, what we're going to do we're going to turn this the other way around so the before we get into final mission B here I'm going to explain to you all some things uh, about this mission. So you'll see the reason why that there are there are safe slots, right? So let's just say if you complete the final countdown on this safe file here, for example, you'll be stuck on this mission. So you can't actually play both final missions in one safe slot so you have to create a new safe slot from scratch and this is exactly what I'm doing here so I stopped that identity crisis on this one so we'll switch to that now on final mission B if you have been going through the safe houses you'll have a clipboard that contains like I think it's free articles and it has numbers on it the gate door has a code, which, well, it's apparently, it's a six-digit code. You have to find to where the articles are, and the numbers, which are in words, will be highlighted in yellow. Those numbers will be part of that six-digit code on the door, and you have to put it in there. Now, you have to do this before... Uh, before final mission B so you have to do it before let's just say you before you have to do it until you get sent to end of the line well you have to get the door open before end of the line because once you once you go on through the Cuba briefing and into end of the line there is no point of return so you'll just be forced to continue on until the final mission. So, the code is, and be my guess, the code is 112263. It's, I believe that's the correct code. It's the same exact code, so it doesn't actually change. And I'll be able to put it in the description on this video so you all can actually put that code into that door if you want to but you need to have that door open for final mission B I'm just saying that right now and again so without further ado 
let's jump straight into it. Let's tackle down final mission B. Okay, so we already chose truth, so we're going to turn this the other way around. So we're going to choose lie. Duga, the Raider Array near Duga. Now, this is exactly what you need to do. You have to do this quickly. Okay. So, set up the ambush at Duga. So, see this door here? It's open. Go through it. Have a time. There is a timer. So, set up the ambush at Duga. You need this door open. Because if you don't, then you won't be able to set up an ambush. Alright, and now we're all set. Alright, so this is Final Mission B. Alright, Final Mission B. Until it pops up. Alright, so this is final mission B. Ashes to ashes. This is going to lead us to the bad ending. You were a fool to trust me. Typical American arrogance. Like the help US hired nukes across the world. You'll die here, disowned and forgotten. BAM! I had to cut that conversation short. I. I'd be worried if I would actually... Yeah, I'd be worried about that. So here is Perseus here, under that mask. So this is ashes to ashes. I know this seems harsh, but this is exactly how the mission's gonna go. So you basically turn against your teammates. And I killed Park first. Oops. Oh, 
There goes Woods. So for this mission, you're basically turning yourself against Adler and his team. I'm pretty sure I said that like a few minutes earlier. Oh man. So Adler is the only one left. So this guy right here, this is Perseus and I'll actually prove it. Finish Adler. He's wounded. Oh, yeah, sure. Alright, tap the square button. I'm sorry, Adler. This is going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me. And here he is. I called that out earlier, didn't I? Let the new Soviet era begin. Detonate the nukes. Thank you, I guess. After all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could help you in the region. So, uh, uh, we need a new home. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours as well. Come, there is still much to be done. Right behind you. And that's the mission, by the way. And now the safe house burns. We will watch the empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. The world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. A 
and if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Dasim Javad, he fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Dasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his election. As with Kasim, the CIA is now holding on top of You can locate him, bring him back to us. If they have broken him, Say that Eliezer Azawi perished in Cuba. You will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating you from your side. With the West in chaos, our key agents within the United States are in place and ready for the next phase of our plan. Now that Europe is in disarray, our agents within their respective governments can help craft Europe's future, one completely aligned with the interests of the Soviet Union. My friend, we are just getting started. And there you all have it, and that was Ashes to Ashes. It was quite a short mission, but again, I know how much that mission hurts. It can be very harsh, but it's just how the mission goes. Like, you have... Like, you got to be responsible for, you know, choosing a lie because... You would have wished to choose truth before you chose lie, or if you chose lie first, then you realize, ah, oh, damn it, I have to choose. I have to choose truth next time. But it's a good thing that, you know, well, I had to choose truth first, then I chose lie just to finish this playthrough off. But I just also, I forgot to explain one thing also, if you, if you don't call in the airstrike, or if you didn't open that one gate, then Adler's team will shoot you down and that would be, that's the end. So let's just call it the you suck ending. <laughs> let's just call it that. But I just had to, but you have to get the ambush set up and then you'll play Ashes to Ashes. So you've got to make sure you have that gate door open in the safe house so you can actually assemble the ambush in Ashes to Ashes if you chose Liar. But as always, lads and lassies, I really want to thank you all very much for playing... Uh, I mean, I want to thank you all very much for watching me play through Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Yeah, it's actually really tough that I cannot speak, but still... Thank you all very much for watching me play through Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I already gave out my final thoughts of what I think about Cold War in my Final Mission A video. And as always, everyone, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Peace out, everybody. Cheers.